This one small tax mistake could send you to prison. Recently, I was talking to a viewer here on the channel. He's under investigation by the UK tax authority for making this small mistake that many people are making. And you might even do it thinking that's the right thing to do. I'm not doing anything wrong. And then you could be charged with tax evasion. This particular mistake is common because Nobody gets instructed, nobody gets educated that this is a mistake. What this client did, which is what many people that we talk to do, is they go to a tax-free country, a tax haven, they wanna lower their taxes legally, they don't wanna cut any corners, and they arrive in a place like Dubai, for example. This particular client went to Dubai, went to a particular company that opens Dubai companies for people, and he asked them, can I live in the UK, and will this company pay any tax? They said, no. It's a UAE company, it's a Dubai company, we'll never pay tax anywhere because in Dubai there is no tax and you're not sending money to UK, therefore the money doesn't need to pay any tax. So he transferred millions of dollars to the UAE bank account through that company and then found out that all that money, because he was living in the UK, needs to pay UK taxes because this is a controlled foreign company, meaning a company in another country that is controlled and owned by somebody that is a resident in a high tax country. So if you're in the US, in the UK, in Australia, and you go to a tax-free country or tax-free place like Dubai and you open a company and transfer a bunch of money to it, if you don't leave your home country, then you're still liable for tax no matter if that company is in another country. And this happened to me too. When I first went to Dubai, when I first went to open a Dubai company, the person that was advising me to open the company, as a US citizen, I asked, do I need to report to the United States? Do I need to pay tax to the US on this company? They said, no, of course not. It's a Dubai-based company. You don't pay any tax. You don't report. What, what is this like reporting to the US? You don't need to care about that. And that's the mistake that a lot of people do. People go to these tax-free places they open a company, they get advised that they don't need to pay taxes back home, that they don't need to report anything, when in reality, you need to report everything unless you leave. And if you're a US citizen, unless you renounce. But if you're living in a high tax country and you go to a low tax country, don't follow the advice that local people give you. Because most of the time they don't know the local plus the international. They only know the local law, which is many people go there, they open a company, they don't pay any tax. But some people go through IRS investigation, CRA investigation, HMRC investigation, and some of them go to prison. And I've seen some people, not our clients, because we advise them to do it properly, but I've seen some people, I heard some cases that go to Dubai, they think they're never gonna pay taxes, and then they're under investigation for tax evasion because they moved a ton of money thinking that it would never pay taxes. This also happens a lot with second citizenship. Just because you have a second passport, let's say a St. Kitts passport, St. Lucia passport, if you come from a high tax country and you do everything on your other passport, this doesn't mean that you'll never pay taxes again unless you move out or in the case of US unless you renounce and many people that sell citizenship tell you oh get a second citizenship then you can do everything through that citizenship start a Binance account open a bank account and then you never need to pay taxes you can hide your money there with that second citizenship no you cannot and I'm tired of seeing this advice again and again a lot of clients coming to us thinking oh I thought I could just move the money to a tax-free country I thought I could just put the money in a bank account with the other citizenship and never worry about it no these governments are getting smarter and smarter. The IRS just hired 80,000 plus employees to try to find people like you that are wealthy and trying to hide money in other countries. If you're going to lower your taxes, then you better do it right. If you're wealthy, if you're moving to a tax-free place, you're moving a company to a tax-free jurisdiction, you wanna lower your taxes, what you wanna do is get local advice plus international advice plus advice back home because you wanna connect them all. If you're coming from Canada, leaving Canada, you can't just ask a Canadian accountant because he will tell you, no, you will always pay tax in Canada. If you ask, a person in Dubai that will tell you, you will never pay tax in Canada. So what is the middle? The truth is always somewhere in the middle. You will pay if you are resident in Canada. Therefore, leave Canada and then you won't pay. And that's why you need to have this triple approach of local, local in your country, local in the country of the zero tax, and also international tax lawyers or international consultants that know how to connect both. And that is what I recommend every single client. But that's not the only mistake people do when they go to Dubai to try to lower taxes. You wanna check this video on the biggest mistakes people do when they try to move to Dubai.